everyone, this is Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here today to just do a little experiment with the tulip tie-dye kit. Now, the kit instructions recommend using the dye within 45 minutes of mixing, but it's currently November, and I mixed this red dye back in July. I had some dye left over, and I just haven't gotten the chance to use it yet. So I'm going to try using it today and see how good of a, how strong of a color that we can get. Now I am hoping to get a true red. The, this 35 yards of fingering weight 100% wool was uh, pre-soaked in just plain water. So it's damp and so the dye will absorb easily. Since I'm doing this only one color, I'm just going to apply the dye and massage it to the yarn within a Ziploc bag. Uh, rather than some of the other techniques I showed on dyeing yarn with the tulip tie-dye kit on this channel. So let's see. Now, so the instructions say that the concentration of color molecules decreases. I'm just squeezing it directly in. And I'm adding quite a lot because, you know, I want this to work. Part of the reason why I'm using a Ziploc bag is because we're going the yarn is going to need to sit for you know six to eight hours, or I typically do overnight, and to let the dye absorb to the whatever fibers you're using. And so this way I can easily seal it up without worrying about leaking or the yarn drying out. So. And hopefully without dyeing your hands. I'm just checking. Getting reasonable coverage. But since I do want a strong color and I haven't been using this dye for the last four months, I'm going to add some more. So what this will mean is that if the dye actually lasts a lot longer than 45 minutes, then hey, it's great and you aren't committed to using up all the dye from one kit at one time. Now, in the last four months, I've stored all of these bottles in a gallon sized Ziploc bag. I can actually just show you. Um, and they have not um, been under constant exposure to light. Um, Alright, so that's looking nice and vibrant red, but it's possible that, uh, you know, some of the color molecules have precipitated out of the solution, and so they won't actually adhere to the yarn as well as we would like. So, time to just wait and see. I'm going to seal up, remove air, seal up my Ziploc bag, and wait until tomorrow. So it is the next morning and I'm ready to rinse out our tie-dyed yarn. I placed it inside a second uh, plastic bag just in case there's any leaks from the Ziploc. Now we can see there's still some you can see there's still some color in the liquid but I did really saturate our yarn with dye. So I'm gonna move over to the sink, open the Ziploc bag and start rinsing it out. Now what we're hoping is that most of the dye will stay in the yarn. That looks a little creepy, doesn't it? But look at this! Just opening up the bag to make it like a bowl. Um. Oh, look at that beautiful red color. Nice and saturated. Now, part of the true test will come when we add some soap, and I'm just gonna wash it with a bit of dish soap. No. Generic store brand, add it, 
consistently to yarn. The yarn will, you know, like any tie-dye project, the yarn will require a fair amount of rinsing. But you can see with copious amounts of soap, you know, the water is definitely still pink. Uh, hard for you to see. Um, but it's still very visibly pink after a while of rinsing. Um, so just like with any dye product, projects keep rinsing until the water runs clear. But I think that we can successfully say that the Tulip tie-dye kit dye still works after four months, which is great news because it means that you aren't in a time crunch to complete your project. Um, and it means that I'm about to dye some other fabulous yarns with this kit. I've been saving, the kit came with a second packet of um, dry dye, but I'd been waiting to use it because I wasn't sure how long it would last and I wanted to make sure I had enough yarn to dye because the whole kit can dye many, many, many hundred gram skeins of yarn. Oh. And this is going to be great for a new design that should be up on Chemnitz by the end of the year. So there we have it. Some beautiful cherry red yarn. Uh, thank you for following along with this experiment of mine of how long can the tulip dye in a tulip tie-dye kit last. And we now know that it can last at least four months. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz.